The floor is yours. Have you ever get that impression that mountains may be alive? Sometimes it even sounds to me almost like they are crying. High up in the mountains, ice melts in summer. Water penetrates cracks in the rock, freezes back in winter, which expands its volume and eventually dies to get the surface of the mountain. I don't know for you, but I think I would be crying as well. Anyway, the bad thing about this is that a rockfall high up in the mountain can result in a major landslide down in the valley. And here in Switzerland, that endangers towns and people. But the good thing is, it is not completely unpredictable. Think of it as a pencil under pressure that would crack before it actually breaks. In the same way, we can detect the sound made by the mountain crying, and by doing so, monitor directly from Zurich the state of the mountain. And we can evaluate how bad the damage is, or how likely it is to fall apart in the next days. To do that, what we do is that we put many sensors directly on top of the surface of the mountain, which are connected through wireless communications. Here, we are facing two main challenges. First, these mountains are quite difficult to access. We cannot afford a sensor to drain its battery out in two days or even in two months. We are aiming for years of autonomous lifetime, at least. Second, it is paramount that we can control this communication efficiently. That means that if a mountain is crying, the base station will detect it and warn the inhabitants in the valley if necessary, preferably before they have a rock through the roof. Closing that loop in time is called providing real-time guarantees. So the goal of my thesis is to develop such real-time communication protocols for wireless sensor network, which should react quickly, reliably, and feature years of autonomous lifetime, all of which is quite challenging. Today, I'm interested in alpine monitoring, but the potential field of application for this research is much wider. We're all starting to wear smart clothing, living in smart houses. Tomorrow, we'll move around smart cities in autonomous cars. All of this will happen. And to be safe, we will need automatic controllers to react and communicate with the environment in real time. So eventually, my work will contribute to a safer future for all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Romain. So let us the mountain cry in the altitude and call our third candidate.